able to roll out new vaccines every year should that be needed. Right now, that doesn't seem to be the case, but we have to see. So are we witnessing a kind of hybrid COVID-19 virus? And what about the current testing protocols? Um, or are you looking at some kind of rejigging of the proto testing protocol to ensure that this virus is detected effectively? So there are two issues here. One is about the way you want to detect this variant. But remember, our goal is not to detect only this variant and assume that nothing else will happen. Our goal is twofold, to, to test and identify those who are positive, and amongst those, take a representative sample and sequence their genomes to know whether this variant is there and if other variants are also arising. So given that need for doing this comprehensively, that will be the approach. It so happens that this variant can also be detected in certain kinds of RT-PCR tests. But Remember that that would bias our search to looking only for this variant as if this is the only thing which we need to search. We need to search for this and also for other variants which will arise. And that's what the National Consortium is looking at. And is the center, uh, you know, guiding the states um, because of this new strain, how they should go about it? Well, the health ministry works with the state uh, governments and their health ministry and going down right to every level uh, at the finest level of granularity. And they also have already in place an identification, testing, tracking, and isolation program. And what we're gearing up now is amongst those who test positive, those who come from abroad, those who are uh, already there in areas where the spread is intense, those in hospital context, representative samples from these will be analyzed and sequenced so that we identify, as I said, not just this variant, but other variants which may be prevalent or may arise in our population. Professor Raghman, when shall we see a proper and mass rollout of the vaccine? And also, can the vaccines effectively counter this? As I said, there does not seem to be any reason to think that the vaccines currently uh, being rolled out will have any problems against this variant. Uh, or against uh, the uh, pre previous versions which are there. That's because the vaccines are against the entire spike protein and they raise, make the body raise antibodies against different parts of the protein. This variant affects only very few parts of the spike protein. Important part, very few parts. And therefore the vaccine, there's no reason to think that the vaccine will be any less effective against this. Last question to you, sir. Despite this gloom, this has also been a year of hope with the development, testing, and approval of vaccines at remarkable speed. For the first time ever, a pandemic of human disease would be controlled by vaccines in real time. Is that how you will usher in 2021? Well, number one, uh, I don't think this is uh, gloom at all. This shows the you know extraordinary way by which science works. And remember, what happened in the UK was that there was an increased transmission. But UK scientists identified this variant. And this is not a reason for gloom. This is a reason for very great positive attitude towards science that the UK identified this, made this publicly available, quantified the nature of the spread so the rest of the world can take care. So this is exactly how things will happen. Whenever there's a problem, data will be shared, information will be shared, solutions will be shared nationally and globally and we can take care of this virus. The vaccines are an example of that. Vaccines normally take tens of years to make, and they cost hundreds of millions of dollars. The world